The most dangerous situation in living memory, the chief medical officer's dire NHS warning. With Lucrezia Millerini. Good evening. For a 12th consecutive day, the number of people testing positive for COVID-19 has passed 50,000, putting yet more pressure on a health system that's already under enormous strain. Today, the Chief Medical Officer Chris Whitty described the NHS predicament as the most dangerous anyone can remember. Well, tonight, officials reported another 563 deaths and said that in total 54,940 positive cases have been returned in the past 24 hours. Geraint Vincent reports on the people who are living with the consequences. Well, leading politicians today insisted staying at home remained the best way to tackle the current coronavirus crisis, despite some scientists calling for tougher restrictions. The health secretary said rolling out vaccines remained the long-term fix. Matt Hancock said the immunisation programme was going so well that every adult in the country would be offered a jab by the autumn. Our political correspondent Carl Dinham reports. So, Carl, the government under increasing pressure to go further with restrictions, do you think that will happen? Well, at the moment, they don't want... Oh, thank you. In Indonesia, the black box flight recorders on board a passenger jet which crashed into the Java Sea, killing 62 people, have now been located. Search and rescue teams have also started to recover bodies in parts of the Boeing 737-500, which went down minutes after taking off from Jakarta yesterday. Martha Fairley reports. In the United States, there have been further charges brought against people over Wednesday's riots in Washington. Among them, a man who wore a bearskin headdress and another who was pictured carrying the Speaker Nancy Pelosi's lectern. Meanwhile, a politician from West Virginia has resigned his post after also being charged over his involvement. And as our global security editor Rohit Katru has discovered, this isn't the first time Derek Evans has been in trouble with the law. Here, a 14-year-old boy has been arrested after a robbery which left a delivery driver in a critical condition in hospital. And finally, the third round of the FA Cup has thrown up another giant killing as League Two Crawley Town thrashed Premier League leads 3-0. It's the first time the West Sussex side have ever beaten a team from the top flight. Dan Salisbury-Jones was watching. And that is it for now. I am back with the late news at five past ten. Until then, enjoy your evening and take care.